supportive of this resolution at all, and I'll give you my thoughts why. I'm a little I'm a little concerned that it gives the impression to the public that there's something going wrong here. Something's happening that just cropped up, and you know, there's some subterfuge going on, and we need to fix it. And in reality, the system that we've been using has worked very well for years and years and years. The two things that have drove this conversation, the Alliance and the Mary Gardens Foundation issue, were not just sprung overnight. They were discussed in advance. We were all briefed on the generalities of what was going to happen. You may not have seen the actual document to the week before, but at some point the council has to put its trust in a staff that they take the negotiations and they put together a document and bring it forward for your review. Now, if you don't, if you have questions, or you want to change something, or you don't like what's in that document once you see it, I've never known that we haven't deferred it when it's been requested, and deferred it multiple weeks if we need to hash it out, which we have done. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with deferring anything that a council member doesn't feel comfortable voting on if they have a reason that they saw something in the contract or whatever. Just to talk about the sheer magnitude of contracts, I don't think you want to look at a contract for a fire truck. Forty pages would be a short contract for a fire truck, probably. And you spend millions of dollars on fire trucks every year. Now, where do we draw the line when we just say contracts? Because you're spending a lot of city dollars every week up here on contracts, and I would imagine if you actually pull the document, those contracts are very wieldy and lengthy. So why are we pulling these particular ones out? So I have a problem with not only the geographic area part of it, but the naming of different organizations that we're going to do this on. I think it puts an unwieldy burden on staff in the attempt to fix something that's not broken. And I just don't, I just have a concern that we're sending a message that there's been something wrong, we've done something wrong, we're trying to make some backdoor deals going on, and this is the way to fix it and get it more open. And that is absolutely not the truth in my opinion. And I just can't support this at all. Pat? Thank you, Your Honor. I agree a lot with what Gary said and what Councilman White said about the categories here being strained. It calls for supervision of contracts issued into by the Economic Development Trust. How about the other trusts that he, Water Utilities Trust, enters into contracts that far exceed any dollar amount that we've talked about and the Council might be absent maybe the entire budget. And so the fact that it limits that is there is an implication in my mind anyway that there's somebody suspects the Economic Development Trust was doing things that were improper. That is not the case at all. Secondly, there's a clear avenue to do exactly what Councilman Gede wants to do without adopting the resolution. That's to ask for a deferral and you can get all the explanation you care for. We get the contract, but as Councilman, excuse me, Mars pointed out, almost every time we have something of controversy or magnitude, there's been discussion. Now that may have occurred before you were elected, Councilman Gede, but there was discussion on the issues you talked about, you had exceptions about. But it wasn't the first time the concept was introduced to the Council. The Council's job is not to write contracts, it's to approve policy. And I think that's my final objection is you're asking the staff to do an awful lot of work so the City Council can write contracts. I don't think that's our job. Other than the two attorneys we have on the Council, it's probably well beyond our limits of experience and education. I am opposed to this ordinance. I think it's unnecessary. It creates a feeling among some of our citizens, or could create, that there have been improper things done at the City Council. I don't think that's it. All right. Meg and then Pete. And I guess if I could, Pete, I need to thank you for kind of raising your initial comments. I really appreciate your remarks. Because in all fairness, when you read this document, it's very Ward 6 centric. There are at least three categories that specifically relate to any project in Ward 6. 
Portashore is all in Ward 6. Five of the eight MAPS projects, Ward 6. The definition of near downtown, from 10th Street to the river, from Western to Lincoln, essentially Ward 6. Most of the projects that we're working with with those various named organizations, Ward 6. I think there's a real problem with that, and I am very much opposed to the resolution for that reason, and also for the fact that we have a process in place, as several of the other council members have said. We have an ability to defer any document that we want to, and I don't see the system as broken, and I don't see any reason to fix it with something that's this place specific. Pete? I have two comments. One is, with regard to the idea that things, that all this was, these two things that generated this were thoroughly vetted beforehand, they may have been vetted with the other eight of you, but they weren't vetted with me. I assumed that the alliance was going to be what I thought it was, what I had been told it was going to be. I assumed it was an in-house operation. I assumed it was not going to go outside. I had no idea that it was going to be done the way it was until I saw that. Now, that may be my fault, and if it is my fault, I would admit that it is my fault. If all of you already knew that, that it was going to be exactly what it was, an outside operation totally, I voted for it. So don't misunderstand my total, my lack of commitment to the idea, but I was floored by the fact that it was not what I had understood it to be beforehand. So I think that needs to be said. Maybe you all may be much more perceptive than I am. But the second thing is, all these arguments that we're talking about that are opposed to this could be made against the three-tiered deal on ordinances, every one of them. And we didn't make those then. We thought that was a good idea to give the public more opportunity to find out more about it. And it hasn't proven to be a problem. The problem I see with these kinds of projects is they tend to be, you've got to do it now. You're made to feel like you're anti-Oklahoma City if you want a continuance. So the idea that you can always get a continuance, there was two weeks ago, it wasn't a unanimous vote for a continuance. So it's not always a lead pipe sense that things are going to be continued. Just two weeks ago, we had an important item that the vote was not unanimous for continuance. So what that means is each individual, as we should, can make up our own mind whether the continuance is appropriate or not. And I think that's a mistake. I think this is, I have already said what I think about the two categories, as Meg pointed out. I don't like those. I think they could, I think it must be, it must be changed to be broader than it is and not focus specifically to give the appearance of being something that I am not supportive of. But to say that there's something wrong with it because it's a three-tiered thing, that's what the ordinance, that's what the ordinance deferral thing is. To say that it's, that we all knew what was getting ready to happen, we were all briefed. Well, maybe all the rest of you were, but I wasn't. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. I do think we have a problem. I do think we have a problem when items of this gravity are given to us and we're expected because of all kinds, there's always some kind of a reason that makes it an emergency that we need to do it now. I mean, you can look at my personal record. I vote for them. But I vote for them after I've had a chance to convince myself and deal with my constituency who, frankly, in many cases, are not for most of these things. This is not, this is not a, from my standpoint, this is not an effort to try to make it more difficult. It's an effort to try to make it more transparent and more open. Everybody's going to vote however they want to, but again, but I, it's not an effort on my part to do anything other than make it more transparent and give more opportunity to do it and relieve us of this pressure that you're some kind of a communist if you can't agree to do it today when you've only seen it for 48 hours. I just have a question, and I'm not...